I want to really quickly talk about gravitation and co-gravitation, a la one of my devices that I was kind of divinely inspired to deduce how to build. I've made a few videos about it, a supposed uh, anti-gravity device, however it isn't anti-gravity, it changes the co-gravitational field of the acceleration of mass 2 to mass 1 by changing uh, force and motion vectors of mass 2 in its acceleration towards mass 1. Now, as per our prior video, we know that gravity doesn't exist. It's merely an incoherent expression of counter space. Say this is the Earth. We have counter space here, obviously. Gravity is just nothing other than an extrapolation of counter space. Um, so, here we have mass 1 and mass 2. So, what is anti-gravity? Well, the device that I've made a few videos on, and I'm trying to build, I've built three of these. I've actually played with them endless hundreds of hours. Uh, I won't state that it is anti-gravity, however, the effects are unquestionable. What happens is, is the change in the co-gravitational field by changing the co-gravitational field of mass 2. Here we have acceleration of mass 2 to mass 1 and causing a force and motion vector against that of the point of acceleration from mass 2 to mass 1 what we have is a reduction in acceleration of mass 2 to mass 1 by changing the co-gravitational field. Remember, gravity is just counter space. So what we're doing is we're changing the co-counter spatial acceleration of mass 2 to mass 1. I was seeking for validation of this. However, his is only theory. Um, uh, I think two PhDs, Dr. Olav D. Jefeminko, uh, Gravitation and Co-Gravitation, he got inspired to figure out uh, the co-gravitational field of the secondary object, in my case mass 2, or my little invention here. You can find this book on Amazon.com. The total gravitational field outside of the cylinder is the sum of the cylinder's cell field, G sub C, and of the external field, G sub E, in which the cylinder moves. However, he doesn't know how to apply this. He knows that it exists there. Um, he's a brilliant professor. Brilliant person. I figured it out very simply. And uh, I swear to you by all that I hold dear and holy that this object does work. Is it anti-gravity? I will not state that. There are a lot of nut jobs on YouTube talking about anti-gravity. There is no anti-gravity. Gravity does not exist as I told you in my prior video. So, what is going on? My device has between four and six parts. I need to apply more power to it, and thereby increasing the force and motion vectors parallel to the vector of uh, acceleration between mass 2 and mass 1. In doing so, I've reduced the acceleration of my object and by applying more power, I can nullify the object. Of this, I'm, I tell you, I'm absolutely 100% certain. And uh, if you don't think I'm dead serious or I'm pulling your leg or talking about science fiction here, I assure you, I am not. Gravity is counter space, okay? Just forget the term gravity, okay? Everything is a move towards force in motion or inertia and acceleration. Convergence, move towards counter space. That's all gravity is. is an expression of incoherent matter in a move towards counter space. Remember, space and time don't work on anything. Space and time are neither fields nor forces. Say so this is the Earth, for example, or any object, or two large objects, or any objects actually accelerating towards each other and eliminating space between the objects a move towards counter space, as is necessitated by the principles of what the ether is, what we know 
what I know about magnetism and dielectricity, multiplicative expression of counterspatial acceleration, the elimination of space. But this can be changed. We're not causing anti gravity. Remember, gravity is just counter space. We're not causing anti counter space to occur. What we're doing is changing the co gravitational footprint, if you will, of mass two. This is mass one. This is mass two. If I change the co-gravitational or the co-counterspatial footprint of mass 2, what I can do is both reduce and with more power eliminate the counterspatial acceleration and inertia of mass 2 towards mass 1. This, I tell you, is absolutely the case. And with the application of more power, we have not eliminated counterspace, i.e. gravity, therefore it is not anti-gravity. What we've done is we've eliminated the footprint by which interaction between these two is such that the net force in motion vectors applied to mass 2 in my configuration that I was divinely inspired to build, it just popped into my head and I, I stayed up two whole nights thinking about it before building it and it works. It does need more power, but it works. It does, it does work. Uh, what you deem as anti-gravity is possible. I assure you it's possible. The application of more power will increase the differential between mass 2 and mass 1, change the co-gravitational field between the two, and the possibilities I, I won't state because it just sounds too radical, but I know it will work. This device and the two other devices I built like it do work. Gravity does not exist. Gravity is merely an expression of counter space. So, we can't negate counter space, but what we can do is change the co gravitational footprint of mass 2 and its acceleration towards mass 1 and get what you would conventionally, by connotation, refer to as anti gravity. And I'll say it again. By all that I hold dear, I assure you I'm not pulling your leg. Absolutely not pulling your leg. This device does work, and uh, I would like to build a more powerful device, for obvious reasons. The math of uh, Oliver Heaviside and Professor Olaf Di Jefferminko is unquestionable. It's unapproachable. I only looked this up after I knew how my object worked and I started looking for the co-gravitational field of one object towards another. Since there is no true anti-gravity and gravity is merely a move towards the counter space, I sought this book out and I found the validation for what I had already built and knew in the voluminous works of Dr. Oleg, Oleg, Oleg D. Jefferminko. I know to be true. And this device does work. So that is what anti-gravity is. Um, you don't have to believe me, you can call me a quack or a lunatic, I don't give a damn, because I've had more brilliant divine happiness and bliss in my life, among anything, just writing this book as well as other things, of actually discovering this, that I don't care if every one of you calls me a quack, a nut, a lunatic, I don't give a damn. But I assure you that what I've done, what I've built, and what I'm showing you here, is correct, it's true, the math is undeniable. Uh, he was not a new age quack or you know, a UFO lunatic or any of these other you know, fringe nut jobs. He's a PhD professor, he's a brilliant, brilliant uh, genius of electricity and, uh, and of uh, just uh, radical math. Nothing weird radical, but just a brilliant mathematician. Just a brilliant person. So. That is how one of my three devices works. It needs more power. That is what gravity is. It is a move towards counter space that cannot be nullified, but what can be done 
is to change the co-gravitational field of mass 2 towards mass 1 such that the counterspatial acceleration between mass 2 and mass 1 is lessened as in the case of my device and with an increase in power acceleration of mass 2 to mass 1 can both be nullified and obviously we have force in motion away of mass 2 towards mass 1 or what you would call anti-gravity this is true, I don't care if you call me a nut, a loon I'm not interested in new age quackery and UFO lunatics and free energy conspiracy assholes of which there are a plenty I'm interested in truth, logic, wisdom what is reproductively verifiable and undeniable since we know there's only two principles in the universe, force and motion and inertia and acceleration, changing the co-gravitational acceleration and inertia of one object towards another by the application of special vectored force and reducibility, that's all we're doing, is we're changing the force and motion vectors in a special manner as I created in my object of mass 2 towards mass 1 such that it has anti-gravitational phenomena. However, we haven't illuminated gravity, i.e. counter space, between the two objects. But what we have done is we have squeezed, changed the footprint, whatever analogy you want to think of, I've changed the co-gravitational footprint, the inertia and acceleration footprint of mass 2 object such that compared to another object of equal weight Remember, weight is location specific. Location is a property of space. Okay, you have the Earth here. This is an undeniable fact. You have a person here. He weighs, say, 100 pounds. You instantly move him here. He's out in space here. You instantly move him here. He weighs, say, 300 pounds. Weight is location specific. Get that. Weight is location specific, and what is location? Location is nothing other than an extrapolation of space, or divergence. What I have done in the creation of my little invention here, which has brought me so much joy and fun, fun isn't the right word, is I've changed the footprint of my device not its weight, but I have. Weight is location specific. Location is nothing other than speaking of modality of space. What I've done, in short, this is kind of inaccurate, but it is accurate, is I've created space on either side of this, perpendicular to the acceleration of mass 2 to mass 1. What I've done is created space here. Basically, I've created a parachute. Yes, this is a crude analogy. I've created a parachute out of space perpendicular to the inertia and acceleration of mass 2 towards mass 1 such that the weight of mass 2 is changed and therefore also to, necessitatively, its acceleration towards mass 1. Remember, weight is location specific. Okay? You get that? That's an undeniable fact. Co-gravitation. It is all extremely reducible when you understand inertia and acceleration and force in motion. And I've said it twice now and I'll say it a third time again. I'm not pulling your leg. Life is too short for bullshit. There's so much new age crap and free energy conspiracy crap out there and so much pathetic, pathetic crap on YouTube that I'm not interested in adding to it. I don't have time for that shit. I hate that shit. Excuse my language, so... I don't care what you think of me. I know what I've found. I know it is accurate. And I damn well know what this object is and what it does and uh, I'm eager to build a more powerful one. Weight is location specific. Location 
is nothing other than an extrapolation of a property of space. By changing the co-gravitational field of mass 2, what I've done is change its weight and its acceleration properties towards mass 1, whatever that may be. And in extrapolation, that is anti-gravity. Like I've told you before in the prior video, video number 103, I believe, gravity doesn't mean anything. Gravity is just a polarized, coherent, polarized incoherent mass of uh, acceleration towards counter space. And the opposite of counter space is space. By changing the spatial nature of mass 2, by causing vectorized space perpendicular to the point of acceleration, I'm able to change the co-gravitational field of mass 1 towards mass, mass, uh, mass 2 towards mass 1. That's the end of this video. And the last thing we'll say in this video is that if you understand this, then I'm, I'm happy for you. Whether you believe it or not, I, I just don't give a damn. But I've made this... You know, I could have a heart attack next week. I don't know. Anybody want to croak? I just wanted to make this for my own sake and for posterity's sake. I'm not going to tell you how my device works. It's got between three to five or six parts. It does work. Um, I don't need validation for it. I'm just showing you what the principle of this is. It's not truly anti-counter space, but by connotation it absolutely is anti-gravitational. Which of course gravity means nothing. The theory, the premise, and the math are undeniable. I've built the device. I've built three of them. It does work. I assure you of this. And whether you believe me or not, I don't give a damn. I really don't give a damn. Wisdom and comprehension are their own reward. Anybody that goes out seeking for validation from others has an issue where there's something wrong. Wisdom is its own reward. Comprehension is its own blissful reward. So why make this video? I've already explained to you why. Thanks for watching and I hope you got something out of it. I just made it for myself, but if you like it, fine. If you don't like it, fine. I don't really care. I'm just happy. I'm happy to actually understand.